the way that I wired this up was like this. I will, I had the transformer and I have two secondary and the transformer. First secondary it's 30 volts at 2.6 amp it's rated and the second secondary it's like 12 volts I made it and I made that for powering the meter and the fan for separately that the main uh, the main power supply that will be like 30 volts up to 35 it works anyway now the meter it's I connect the meter to the negative side of the power supply I think all the these meters that have like two two lines and five wires three three thinner and two thicker I believe uh, they are kind of all working the same so I'm going to explain for this and after that we'll figure out for yourself now because it's done the minus side the minus thick and the minus thinner are the same uh, in, inside of the meter so they have the, mi the common minus that way if you if you have a to, to measure a voltage above 4 volts you don't really need a separate power supply you just plug the the red thin wire to the probe the probe will be the yellow wire so this will be the positive for the gauge for powering the gauge, positive for powering the gauge, negative for powering the gauge which is the same negative that is the thicker one and probe for volts the probe will read will take a reading of volts between the probe which will be this contact that it has inside and the thick wire because and the thick wire which is connected with the thinner wire but we, the thick wire if you will always need to put it on so we'll say we will name it between the the probe and the thick wire so because it will measure the voltage between the the probe and a thick wire if you don't have a separately power supply how I have here you just can just put the red wire with the probe in the same place and it will self power the the gadget 